Hi guys, Paul here, painting with PA Brew News, episode 34, I think this one. Now right now, you can see right here, I have a forest theme going on right now. All I did was put everything with black acrylic, let that dry, and then I put white acrylic and just bloop, 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 pot it around, mixing a little bit with the, it wasn't all dry, so some of it will go gray a little bit, but just bloop, 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 bloop with, the, with the paper towel. Then I took one of these these expensive high-class brushes you can buy a million of them for a dollar and I just took black acrylic and and the thicker you want the harder you press but just make little trees and the way the, the further you get away from your light source add a little white to those so you make a little kind of gray trees and then with a little liner brush boop, 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 just put it in there and then I just dotted around the idea of a little uh, bushes too. And all that was was white and black acrylic. Let it dry completely. And now we put a thin coat of liquid clear over everything so it's wet and slick and it'll work for you. So we're just going to do a, a painting like we're deep in the woods basically. So right now I'm going to get some transparent blue. Make sure these paint, the paints that you're using are transparent. To do that, take your blue, put it on here, rub it around. It still looks pretty black. Transparent enough to do what we do. But if it still looks bright blue, mm -mm, not going to work for you. So we're just going to put a, put some brush, put some paint here on the canvas. And the more, remember when you put this liquid clear on, you don't want too much. Otherwise your whole paint will drip down on the floor and you'll have to get a cleanup crew in here. So. You just want a little bit on your canvas. So when you put it on, just take a little bounty towel and just give it a little wipe. It'll take the rest of it off and you'll be good to go. I'm just going to put some blue on here. Little blue. Tap some blue in there. I blew it up. Take a little time scrubbing some blue. And you can you don't need to use blue. You can use any transparent color you want to. Green works. You can make these yellows and oranges. Just take a little bit of black. A little bit of black. Go back into that blue color. Just hit the corners a little bit. You want the corners slightly darker than the middle. There we go. So a little blue. Everything's all blued up now. Nice. Okay. We're just gonna actually gonna go take that there. Go with a little one inch brush. Pull through a little white. A little white on the one inch brush. We're just gonna Figure out where your lightest spot's going to be. I'm going to say mm, here. And we're just going to little crisscross strokes. Blend that out a little bit. Just like that. Soft little crisscross strokes. I'm not touching it very hard. I just want a little light. That same brush that we used here, and just do the same kind of crisscross strokes. And we're just going to blend that out, diffuse it, let it just kind of fade away. But that light spot remains. And it looks like light just zinging through the forest. Right there. Right there. And actually, what you can do is you take this little little white you have. And you just tap. Just tap a little bit like that. Tap just like that. And then you just zip it. Looks like a little white light rays just zipping through the forest there. Ooh, fell right off my hand. Look at that. Another one right here. Just like that. 
just like that. Now it's kind of like zippy. All right. Come here then. I'm just going to tap a little fog. Mist. Right here on the base. Wherever you think it might be. Roll it around. Sometimes you just roll it. You can roll it. Roll, fog looks good when you roll it too. Just rolly, rolly, rolly. Just kind of cleaning the brush off with some excess. Because you have a little excess color here. You can roll it up here. Fog lives wherever it wants to go. It doesn't matter. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Go back in. And just those crisscross strokes. Little X's. And just blend it again. And it'll mix a little bit with that blue that we already have on there. And it'll just get nice and soft. Got the brush strokes. And there we go. Now we have a nice little woo spooky place. Okay. Now we're going to clean our brush. Use odorless paint thinner. Scrub it. I use it on a coffee can with a little screen in it. And then you take your brush. Tap, tap. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it. But you already knew that. All right. So with a nice clean brush, we're going to go into a little bit of dark brown and a black. But more dark brown. Darky dark brown. And we're going to start forming a little bit more of the foreground. We've got the background pretty much done. So you're just going to start tapping in little branches and trees that hang here and hang here and just forming forming the rest of the wildlife in your little area. Maybe it doesn't have any. Maybe it's just a big mm, and this is just a maybe you're in the field looking at it. That's fine. You do whatever you feel like. That's fine. It's all how you want to look at things so little hair. These little these natural hair brushes, they, they tend to molt now and again like me. Sometimes if you want to, you can just put tap a light little bush right here. Just like that. Then that'll be in the background. Then you push forward, get a little darker. Then you push this one here and that pushes that bush way back. Just like that. But don't kill all these little areas. Let some of that stuff shine through. We got a hangy down bush. Right there. Again, get some straight black. Come up in this corner. Hit that. Get those bushes real dark. Same thing with the other side. Straight black. Tap in some bushes up here. And each layer of color like that you do is helps push the other one back and it helps form the distance that you need in your painting. So just do another one right here. Do, 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 do. No big deal. Do, do, do. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Something like that. Gonna go into a liner brush, a little bit, a little bit paint thinner. And I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do a little a little white. I think we're going to do a little white brown. Just like that. White and brown. I think we're going to try to do that. Now, see where your light's coming from. And all you can do is put a little tree in. Just like that. One side's white, the other side's brown. No big deal. Same thing on this side. That one fades kind of like almost right into the mist right there. Spooky. We'll keep that. I like that. Little things just kind of, you can see them here and here. and Things sticking out. Things hanging down from the top here. Trees. Maybe some 
going on right there. Some more of that, that light color that we have going on. Because in the dark, you'll be able to see light. Light, you'll see dark. So if you want to highlight something, you need to play against light and dark. And that way it will show through. Oh, there's something. Look at that. Yeah. Little branches sticking out everywhere. Look at that. Okay, good. See? Clean this off. Little guitar fell over. Clean that off. There. Okay, what are we doing? It's more of that light, dark dark brown black mixture. We're just going to push this guy back. Push him all the way back. And we're going to start forming new planes in our painting. There. Push these automatically back. There. A lot of times too, which is nice, because you already have that dark color on there with the gesso, you don't have to add so much, which means less chance of you mixing mud, which is always a good time. Now, clean that off. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it. You know how that works. Now, hmm, let's see, what are we gonna do? Yeah, let's start putting some, some nice stuff in here. I'm going to go in a white, a little bit of green, a hint of yellow, white, green, yellow. Kind of want to make a very bright light green. And I'm just going to touch some of these. Or maybe light would be zinging in there and hitting them. Yep, maybe a little... Extra hint of white. Wow. You can tap it just on the side there if you want to make a little grassy thing, kind of sitting in here. There. It gives you an idea of a lot of brightness over there. You won't see lots. Good. All right. Maybe a little bit more of that yellow green character. There you go. It's still real bright right here. But I want it a little bit darker than the stuff we had in the background. Because again, that'll help Build distance in your painting. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to get a little bit of darker green mixed in there too. Okay. Let's see. Then we start. Then we can start. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. And the way, and the more it's going to get away from the. light and it's going to get darker and darker and darker. If your paint isn't sticking, add the least little bit of paint thinner or liquid clear because the thin paint will stick to a thick paint. Okay. Add a hint of brown to this one. Make an extra dark extra dark one. There, real dark. And these corners to be extra, extra dark. Just like that. Okay. And go back to that highlight color. Okay. Now we'll just do do. Ooh, it's nice. Nice green. 
chance in some green. It's nice when you go in a little yellow too, it'll just mix up the flavor. And because you have a little dark on the color, on the brush too, mixing those blacks and blues, it'll make a beautiful green when you hit yellow. A bit more white. Tap it up a little bit. Right here. Ooh, that's nice. And just tap it on the side there, and it makes little, little areas of grass. But it's going to continuously mix with the paint underneath it too, and get darker and darker as you move away from the light. Just like that. And you can keep tapping this over and over again until it gets very, very soft. Actually, I'm going to go into yellow. yellow yellow ochre right here, just to change the flavor. Ooh, that's nice. Just like that. Maybe in a hint of bright red. Remember, green and red actually makes a beautiful brown. It has a little hints of that in there. Just, I said, just enough to, to change the flavor. You're not Something back there. Good. There are these little red flowers in the grass too. You can do that. Nothing wrong with that. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's Get that side pretty much done. Huh, okay. So, always take the time. You can always back up, look at your painting, see what you're doing. Throw a little bit more green on the old palette. Didn't realize we're going to be in the middle of summer, but maybe it's because I sat outside in the uh, in the hunt in the blind there, enjoying nature today. Maybe maybe that's why I wanted to paint a bunch of green. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right, same thing kind of on the other side. In there, a little white. Just want to brighten it up at first. White, yellow, all the colors. And we want to hit these right here. Those nice colors. Just right there. I want to go right into the yellow ochre for that one. Nice yellow ochre color for this one. Ooh, she's nice. And all we're using is the one inch brush. Nothing big deal. No big deal. We're using one of the, as you can call it a big brush, but ah, small brush. Come like this. I'm going to make a little path there, I think. Okay, tap, 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 tap. Trying to figure out what color I got in my brush right now. Going to go back into some darker color. Okay. And we're going to start. Was it mint? Got some white on there, too. It's got white flowers on the on this tree. Huh. Look at that. Now there, we're getting where we're going to be away from the light. So I just want to get a little, little black again. Go right into this green. I want a dark, dark, dark green. Touch. Touch. Of paint thinner, just a touch. Make sure it can go. It'll stick. There we go. There. Okay. 
Good. Paint. Hmm. All right. Now we're going to... Sometimes you just need to change the flavor up a little bit. And that's what I'm going to do right now. A different flavor. Something like that. Step back a little bit, see what we got going on. Good. Good. Okay. So, I'm going to clean this brush real quick. All right. Let's see. What do we got going on here? Drop your... Drop the knife. That's always a good idea. Okay. We got a little white, a little brown. Mix it up. Keep it kind of marbly. I'm going to go back here and just... Drop in the idea of a little, little path. It kind of shoots this way, and then goes this way. There you go, something like that. Get a little darker brown right here. Help dull it down a little bit. You want it dark. Obviously, you want it lighter. Closer it gets to the light. Gonna get wider and wider, closer it gets to you. That's pretty much it. There it goes. Shoot, there it is. Okay. Now we're gonna go back into these greens that we have. Doing a lot of green today. Okay. We're just gonna help set this path right down into the painting by just tapping some of the color we have right over the path. It'll just boop, 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 set it right down. Just like that. That right off. We got a an interesting little bush right here. We didn't paint yet. Right here. Little red one. Blacks, reds, browns. Cut across here, I think. Big tree. Right there. Sure. His foot kind of goes right there. That's where his feet are. Just warm them up with your knife. Big tree. Now, actually, I want a little bit of dark area right here. Like there's a big hole in the bottom. That's where all the squirrels and stuff live. that black and just kind of let the black kind of go over the middle of it a little bit. All right. I'm going to worry about some highlights here. So I'm going to get brown and white. Leave it kind of marbly. 
see all those colors on there? I'm not sure if you can see all those colors, but there's a bunch of different colors in that little marbly area. Light's coming from this side, so we're just going to softly graze it. It'll, it'll put on what it wants and it'll give back what it doesn't. I'm just going to make a gnarly little... Just run and softly run the knife up. No pressure at all. No pressure. If it's a little bit too bright, just go over it again. And it'll mix with that brown that's underneath there. It'll make a nice little tree for you. Okay. Okay. A little black. Take that little darker color and run right down the center of the tree. That'll bring it all together for you. A little bit too bright right here. Just like that. Maybe there should be a little sign here that says that's that's old Bob. He lives there. Sometimes state forests have things like that in them. All right. Take a little liner brush. Paint thinner. I'm gonna go into this black that we have here. Paint thinner. Make sure you have a lot, of, a good amount of paint thinner, but also a good amount of paint on your brush. Sometimes I've went up there to try and hit it with my paint and took half the painting off because it wasn't enough on, my, on the on the brush. So here we're just gonna have a whole hangy down tree. So. There you go. These. Bob's one of those hanging down trees. He doesn't, doesn't get too upset about stuff. Maybe Bob's maybe Bob's in retirement. Let's just say that. He's not going to have a bunch of, a bunch of stuff going on. Maybe there's Bob Jr. right here. Yep, there he is. Got it. Bob Jr. right there. Okay, just like that. Alright, let's do shoot. Why not? Let's do a big one. Oh Bob, what'd you do now? <laughs> Okay, that's a big tree. All right, clean that up. A little brown, just like kind of we did before. A little brown, little, little brown, little white. Oh, what are we gonna do here? Let's see. That is a nice little tree right there. Just like that. There's a nice little one right here. Probably another one right, right there. There it is. You can even do that. I'll just take the smaller knife, just for fun, and you can just run it right straight down. That's got some highlight on it too. Oh, 
little bit of darker color on the back side. Tap them. It helps blend some of the color together too. We'll tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Mm -hmm. And you just put little dooters here, here, scratch in some. Scratching little things that live here. Maybe there's a tree you don't see right there. And maybe right there, you know. Scratch them in. Things that live. Stuff like that. Okay. branches. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And that's about it. I think we, uh, We've got a nice little painting going on right now, so let's clean up the area with this little path that we have here. Just kind of easing it up right there. Okay, just like that. Take a little brush quick, go into some green. On the green, clean up Bob's foots. Grass by his foot. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, well, and this has been Paul from PA Brew News, episode 34, I think it is. So, well, until next time, cheers. Bye bye.